The 9 team is tracking two big stunners in the Aaron Hernandez case, and you're looking at one of them. A new tattoo, as you can see here, clearly visible in the courtroom today. The other stunner has to do with his finances. The former Patriot in court on another case. The night team's Brian Crandall is live with the two new twists. Brian? Yeah, Patrice and Dan, his murder conviction last month was far from the last we'd see of Aaron Hernandez. In one courtroom today, one of his lawyers was saying the former football star is running out of money. And Hernandez himself was in another courthouse for another shooting. Not guilty. With a new tattoo on his neck, convicted killer Aaron Hernandez answers to yet another charge. Already serving a life sentence for the murder of Odin Lloyd in 2013, Hernandez is now accused in Boston of trying to silence the man investigators say witnessed a double murder a year earlier. Prosecutors claim Hernandez opened fire on two men he deemed responsible for spilling a drink at a nightclub. Investigators say Alexander Bradley was with Hernandez then. And then months later in Florida, they say Hernandez shot Bradley in the face after Bradley mentioned, quote, that stupid expletive you did up there in Boston. It was a near fatal wound to his face, resulting in the loss of his right eye. Bradley is suing Hernandez. So is the family of Odin Lloyd. And that matter was in court, too, in New Bedford. Hernandez's civil lawyer. There are no piles of money. Claiming Hernandez only cashed in on a fraction of his first big contract with the Patriots. And now, after paying lots of lawyers, there is just nothing left here. The lawyers were in court to talk about how to handle money from a sale of Hernandez's Hummer and possibly his North Attleboro estate, where Hernandez's fiance and daughter have been living. They are hurting financial lawyers. And then accusations aimed at the lawyers for Lloyd's family. Has made unstinting efforts from all appearances to turn this into a media circus. And the response? I don't need the lawyer for the person who murdered the person to tell me how to do my job. And back to that neck tattoo, they're supposed to be against prison rules. And of course, it just came out yesterday that Hernandez was in a fight in prison. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News 19.